Hi, everyone. <laughs> so those of you brave souls who are here for Val, Dragonfly Crystal, and Next Level Channeling, are you psychic? This is an opportunity for you to come on StreamYard and test out your skills. Of course, you're all psychic. Of course, you're all intuitive, every one of you. So it's really an exercise in proving it to yourself. And I have right away our first, not victim, no, <laughs> no, not victim. We have our first um, uh, brave person who has come forward, Martha Bean. I want to welcome Martha Bean. <laughs> Thank you for Hello. joining us. I am just very jazzed to have you here as the first uh, way shower <laughs> for this. Uh, are you psychic? Because, uh, you know. Do you this, hear me? Yeah, I can. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 You're good. You're good. You're good. So, so this just, this show the idea just came because people in the chat on polyterology were saying, you know, why can't we ever come on and ask our questions? And I, I thought then later in a day or so later, I was like, all this whole idea of doing this came into my mind. So here we are. So Martha. Yes. What is your question? I just want to ask your question, but I'm, before I answer it, I am going to ask you a question. So. Great. Sounds great. Um, oh, man, my husband just came home and he's on a conference call. Are you, are you call? No, sorry. Okay. I you were okay. He's going to just walk walk on by. That's and okay because you know what? My husband has to do the same thing occasionally. <laughs> I mean, we've got to live. We have a life. Yes. So. <laughs> what are you doing in our home? <laughs> Um, my question is, have I just discovered a full circle message from over 30 years ago in a vision I had? Does that make sense? Oh, I'm just getting, I'm not going to answer you. No, I'm going to, I, yes, it does make sense. And before I answer you, I'm going to ask you to read and okay. this is a surprising question that I'm going to give you <laughs> and I know all of you are going man this is bogus the full circle discovery of what has just occurred for you in your life right now can you give me a reading on that for you? Can you give me, get go inside and tell me what that means? Tell me the significance. The significance of? Of your. Um, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking. I'm asking but... your question to you. Oh, okay. So you're asking it back to me. Okay. Um, I believe that it is a, um, a message I received before <clears throat> my life completely flip-flopped. And um, I knew it was going to be amazing when I figured it all out. And I think I just figured it out. And the message is to... Uh, release control, tap into my elephant animal, power animal, and for protection and strength and uh, grace as I oh. move forward into the I'm divine the feminine. Getting the full body chills. And I, I totally love your, I couldn't have done a better job myself, but when you asked that question to me, I was getting the full body chills, absolutely 100%. This is that full circle moment. And you just read beautifully on your question. You got it. That is exactly what the significance is for you. 
and I'm still getting chills going running Me up too. body. So what does this mean? This, this means, means all you are looking for is someone else to confirm what you already knew, no. but didn't trust yourself to, to know. Deep within you is this huge wellspring of knowledge and wisdom. You got it. You recognized what it was immediately, and you got it in whole, in its entirety. But yeah. having somebody ask you to sit down and define it and say it out loud, how does it make you feel now that you've got re read on it and you've said what it is? I feel, um, I feel amazing. This just happened today. I, the last piece clipped and, um, I feel strong and ready to go. And I, I just have no fear or that anxiety. That, you know what that is? When you come from your heart and your soul, there is no fear here. The fear is in the ego mind or down here in the lower chakras where we have that. This sends the signal down to our lower chakras to be afraid and run or whatever. But it's really the ego mind. That's where the fear is. So when you're in your soul and you're moving from here, from your that sweet soul place, there's none of that. You just feel composed. You feel peaceful. You feel in balance. And you move from that grace, just like your uh, power animal elephant, uh, which is full of beautiful heart and love and community. Because, you know, animals, uh, elephants in particular, remember, if they didn't see you for 35 years, they would recognize another member of their group. That's how that is, that heart, that connection. It's a whole bunch of things. So that's beautiful. So once again, I want to tell everyone in the chat, this is a, you come on here and you click the link. I'll just post it again. Um, you click the StreamYard link, just like Martha did. And um, here I've posted it again. And you come on and you ask your question. But before I answer your question, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. And I thought, Martha, you were phenomenal as the first person on here to uh, ex explore this new way of going about your life. Right. So um, I want to thank you for that. And, um, you know, I with that, I'm going to um, let you go and um, let go on to the next person. And right. uh, yeah, I really appreciate your being first a trailblazer. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you to click the red button, leave the studio, because I'm not going to kick you out. <laughs> okay. Um, um, did you I have leave? To, it's down. Oh, it's I see. Leave studio down at the very bottom of StreamYard. Um, you see the big red X. Yeah, it's a red it's a red X. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And so we have our nurse for our next victim. No, I mean, we have our next. <laughs> yes. Hello, Ness. Hello. Our next brave soul, not victim. You just went straight into it. Um, hello. Hello, everyone in the chat. Um, my question is, I'm working on a chapter and I'm wondering, will I finish this chapter by Friday? So it's a yes or no question. Will you finish this chapter by Friday? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to answer you till you tell okay. me. Will you will you write it down so you I'm independently? Writing it down. <laughs> you independently. But you know, you can watch this later and see yourself saying. Yes, 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 that's true. Um, okay, so I'm asking the question of, will I finish it on Friday? I mean, my brain just goes like, does it even matter? Um, I mean, I want my ego oh, self. No, 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 no. No? Okay. Go into your heart. Okay, go into my heart. Take a couple of deep breaths. Get out of your head. Take a deep breath in. Blow it out. And take another deep breath in. Blow it out. And, and go into your heart chakra and just sit there with that question for a moment. Not 
just concentrate on being in your heart yes. and ask yourself in that seat of the soul. Yeah, I, I got it. Um, the answer is yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, th what does that mean, though? That means that you yeah. choose. You choose to do yeah. it. You choose to finish yeah. it. Not some yeah. outside whim, but you yeah. standing Same. in your power, standing in your heart center, made the claim yeah. and the responsibility and the action. You're going to yeah. do I was almost afraid that it was a yes, almost. It's oh, weird. I got the chills from your answer. Yeah. It was, it's like, I want you to tell it to me because I don't, because when I tell it to me. You don't I'm believe afraid. yourself. And yeah. You, and here's yeah. the deal. Here's the dealio. I got the really big chills when yeah. you went into your heart center and you just got out of your head and you got the answer. Yes. Because you were in that place of truth and I'm still getting the mm. chills in that divine center of truth in the heart you will always find your heart's desire and you will see that you have the ability to fulfill any of your heart's desires if they are in fact a heart's desire if you get yeah. what I mean yeah. you know so in that way of looking and approaching life Trust your heart. Trust your heart. Of course you don't mistrust your heart. You're going to trust it, right? Yeah. Don't, you're not going to say that about your ego mind. Uh, yeah, no. the heart versus the ego mind. The heart versus Very the different. ego. The heart versus the ego ness. And I loved your answer. And, um, you know, I see you doing a fabulous job and getting it done like no problem whatsoever. The ideas are going to open up and flow to you because you are in that space of claiming it is so, of yeah. saying it is so, which is a powerful space indeed. And all your guides and angels are going to come swarming around you to help you. Yeah. Because they mean, love that energy. Yeah. It's a choice. Yeah. 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 Um, thank that, you. All, that made me hot. <laughs> <laughs> Got over it. I felt it very coolly. It wasn't like a really warm feeling, but it's interesting. Oh man, I it went all the you maybe all the way. It all went over here. <laughs> anyway, I thank you okay, for I will leave us. for the next person. Okay, thank you. Uh, so thanks to um, Ness and for Martha for coming on and showing you how easy it is to actually believe in yourself and believe in your own answers. And, um, you know, I got huge chills from both of these ladies, from Ness and from Martha. Beautiful channeling for themselves, beautiful information from their uh, soul self, their higher self and their guides coming through. So, again, I will post, I will paste in the link for StreamYard. And if you want to come on and ask a question, <laughs> you may do so. <laughs> so please go ahead and do that because this is developing your ability to believe in your own gifts that you know you already have. <laughs> you were born with every one of them. So, you know, you have everything you need, all the tools, just like the magician or in your tool belt. You got to take them out and use them. So <laughs> I thought this would be a great way to, you know, put you all on here and have you go inside and, you know, read on yourself <laughs> and believe yourself. <laughs> so um, come on. Someone brave, click on the link. I'm just going to put, I'm not going to read your questions till you come on. That's a rule. It's rule. It is a rule. Oh, we got the next victim. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, 
ethnicity is next. Oh, it's me, Barb. Oh, oh, more people. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, it's me, Barb. Oh, so I'm going to, okay, first we have you. Now, hey, what's your name, hey? <laughs> I'm Barb, Teacher Barbara. Teacher Barbara, hello. I don't know. Oh, hi, it says hey on there. I'm on my it phone. It says hey. <laughs> hey, Teacher Barbara. <laughs> How do I change that? I don't know. Oh, you change it with the three. There's three dots uh, on your picture down below. Down below. You oh, I'm on my phone. Dots. I can't see it. Oh, you can't see it. Never mind. I know you're teacher Barbara. Okay. Yeah, no. I talk to you all the time. Okay, so teacher Barbara. Oh, my gosh. I have a lineup. Oh, there's people uh, coming in. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on your question now, teacher Barbara. Okay. So what is it that you <clears throat> want to know? All right. I'm Reiki. I'm a Reiki master. Yes. And I, when I use my Reiki, I can channel. Right. But, but not really often any other time. I mean, how do I fix that? I mean, how do I make my gifts stronger, I guess? Okay. Now, I think you know the drill, but we're going to walk you through this again. Okay. Before I answer your question, and I do have some answers, I want you to go into your heart, and I want you either here at the top of your crown or in your heart, Don't not in the ego mind, but in the crown or the heart, and okay. ask your guides, ask your higher self, what do I need to do? to channel at any time I want, channel on demand or channel when I want. Just ask that and give it a few seconds, give it a few minutes. Well, something that came to me was slow myself down because I'm always on turbo, I think. Just slow my mind down and trust i guess <gasps> because you know right? what I, I teach everyone i that, that go to that take my channeling class mm -hmm. relaxation relaxing so that you can receive those messages are already coming you already have that channel you're already doing it during reiki mm -hmm. and so it's just calming calming down, calming the mind down. Like you said, you really have yourself read properly. It is just slowing the mind down and taking that quiet moment yeah. to because let I, it through. I recently lost a friend. Yeah. And um, about uh, two, three weeks, weeks ago, and I'm, I, I don't want to try too hard, but it's just, I want to talk to him so bad and I want to know and I, and I want to hear from him myself. And sometimes when we have that deep anticipation, or it creates a little anxiety about it. Mm -hmm. And that blocks us from that connection. It's almost like the more you relax, the more you connect. The more you're like, I have no expectations. If you want to come through, do. You know, mm -hmm. do you have anything to say to me today? Say their name and, and ask, see if they come in. This is what I do. I sit and ask X, Y, Z, do they have a message for me? And just get ready to, okay. to, and that's that simple. There is no mystery. And, but you already had the answer about calming yeah, the just, mind. Slow yeah. down. <laughs> down. Take the moment and have no expectations around it. Just be calm and connect with your heart and then go up to your crown chakra and okay. you know call them in and so anyway teacher barbara thank I you wanna, for being here i'd like to practice trying to channel for other people but i haven't had anyone to practice with so well you can channel and you know you don't have to use other people like that you can go to ascended master black beings that's okay you can you can call in anyone and start channeling them. And you'll, you're going to know if that information is, you're going to get that feeling that you're really channeling a being that is giving you information you didn't know. 
legit information yeah legit because i don't want to track it attract any of those like jokester spirits no 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 because you have to surround yourself with the pure white light like i do in when you've seen the different shows when i do that and you ground yourself into mother earth you pull in divine source energy although you are already divine source energy you mm -hmm. are that god source and you send that light out around the world from your heart. Okay. Then you're in that preparation mode. Go up here, call everyone in that you want to talk to. And only the highest vibration of truth and light can come in because that's what you've called for. So congratulations. Good. Thank you. So next time you see teacher Barbara, you know, it's me. <laughs> I know it's you. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye teacher Barbara. Bye. Um, you just have to click the leave studio button. Okay. I'm trying to, okay. I think, <laughs> I think if you see it, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Sonia. Wait. Oh, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> I, I got hypnicity. Hey, hypnicity. It's good to see you in person. Here I am. In <laughs> oh, <all my gosh. laughs> this is so much fun for me. I, I can't even tell you. I'm just really, <laughs> Okay, so what is your question, Hypnicity? Well, I read your description and it said first answer Val's question. So, no, my question's your question. Okay. <laughs> yes. so, I want I'm all actually... of you to experience that feeling of going, damn, I gave myself good advice. <laughs> And you know, you know man, man, I have that came from my higher self or my guides, that information, because it was the same information. I if you're off, I, I would tell you and I would say, well, I would also say it's this <laughs> or that. But uh, what's your question? Well, how do I break through this stuckness of being afraid to start my own show? I don't know if I'm ready to start my own shows. I think well, I know, need to I maybe think, guest on shows. But, but hypnicity, you, you're you already on a show. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But it, and that's the other thing. It's like I'm the person who's always behind the camera. I'm very rarely in front of the camera. So part of me doing this today was like, get yourself out there. And you know your guides are like singing like the angels because you're on here it's like you have taken a gigantic step <laughs> like a leap into well, the unknown like the fool jumping off the cliff well if i don't know if you know this but during the last eclipse not yesterday's but the one before yeah my third eye opened <gasps> and it was like this kaleidoscope i heard that in the chat yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. i'm still going through that and mm -hmm. Yesterday was, it's still the energy still of yep. the eclipse, still definitely here. You have so many gifts, it's ridiculous. I mean, you really have a lot of things going on. So for you not to have a channel and to get out there is <laughs> like ridiculous. <laughs> get out there. I don't know how to do all of it. It's just, I, is there a tutorial out there for how to do a channel so you don't like i mean because i know there's trolls you gotta watch out for. oh no you know what it's so nothing much. like you know what hypnicity you are gonna do fine you don't have to worry about any of that stuff <laughs> that is stuff that happens way down the road you okay. don't even have to worry about that because you're just starting out and okay. hopefully everyone in our community will subscribe to you and your channel will grow like crazy because everybody okay. knows you. Well, so, and just so everybody knows my channel hypnicity right now is really yeah. musically focused. And yeah. But did, did you know, I, I'm going to interrupt you and tell you, right you, know, you can keep hypnicity musically focused but you can do a hypnicity two channel or call it something else. So I've got, yeah. I've got my channel and I also at the, on the same account, I have my next level channeling channel. So okay. you can have multiple channels from your okay. account. So don't change. You don't have to change the hypnicity 
channel. Just make a new, make another one from that same account. I have, I have yeah. family members that don't know that I'm learning tarot or learning. You know what? That's you don't need to worry about those people. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> they won't even. It, you'll you're, you'll be off their radar. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm putting it out there that I'm, yeah. I really do want to get some exposure and feel more comfortable doing lives. So I'm putting it out there if you guys want to trust me to come on to your show and maybe give me a test run. <laughs> I will have you on. I will have you on and, and the show I'm doing. I'll have to figure out which one. And I will have you on. I have I volunteer. No I'm going to write a note here. here. Have hypnicity on. <laughs> yeah. But do you have actually have a question or was that it? Well, because uh, I think you answered your own question before <laughs> you answered it. You, okay. You know, like getting uh, on and making a challenge. I settle into this third eye opening. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's the expectation? Once your third eye has opened, what do you see for me? Uh, I mean, okay, okay, I'm hypnosity. Just all in. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm going to pose the same your question to you, okay, and ask you what are your expectations after of your third eye opening? What expectations do you have surrounding that, and what what do you see happening? <laughs> I want the winning lottery number. Not up here. Go into your heart. <laughs> Go um, into your you heart. What my my main goal is to be of service to people, to see how my gifts can help somebody else. That's my main thing. It's like then, are, then you just claimed your reason for everything. Okay, so that's it. I then wanna... that's all you need. That is a soul job. That is a divine path creation. Okay. That you're stating, and that is what you're doing. Okay. Everything else you before that was up here in the ego mind. So if I was going to say anything to you, it would be get going on it and get your stuff, to, get it cooking. Just make another channel and start you out with it. Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> oh, you know what? You could wait to launch, but you can get in the background and okay. get some things done. It don't you don't have to wait for that. Uh, you can launch it after Mercury has gone direct. No okay. problem whatsoever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you have a lot of gifts to share with the world. So um, I would caution you, don't have expectations of a third eye, anything. Here's the thing. Okay. I never think about my third eye. It's my third eye is, it, it doesn't mean anything. I, I don't even, it's a chakra. I, the brow chakra. I don't, there's no, oh, what's it doing? What's it? No, I have my, where's my awareness? What I'm doing? What's my platform? What am I here? To, how am I serving humanity? What am I doing for people in my community and anyone I can reach? Mm -hmm. That is the platform and that's what you're doing. Remember that goal, not the lotto. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. And, and just, Hypnicity has been seeds that I planted years ago. Yeah. Because hypnicity hopefully is going to be a community that I build. I, I'm sure it will. So that's my main hypnicity, a community okay. for the arts is my website. So yeah. if anybody wants to look at my website and is interested in maybe co-creating with me, I'm looking for co-creators. There you go. There All you have go. to do is call out, you there know. You I'm calling it. I'm looking You're for calling out. Everybody heard that. <laughs> Ethnicity, I'm going to move on to Sonia next. And I, I thank, thank you so her. much. It was great for catching giving up me with some you. Exposure. And... <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, and next. Oh, ah. our star, <laughs> uh -oh, our star. <laughs> Hold on. I got finger happy. <laughs> you know, I'm going to put this back for a minute. Okay. I'm getting, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, everyone. So, uh, Sonia, are you there? Oh, can, I can't, but can, I can't hear you. Uh-oh, say something, Sonia. No. 
Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. What's your question, Sonia? Am I working while I am sleeping? Are you working? <laughs> like with the fire? I will ask you, Sonia, are you working while you're sleeping? I think I must be because I wake up tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to put this on uh, camera, but I don't really. We Let's saw see. you. We saw you before. Oh, oh. Um, listen, Sonia, you <laughs> answered your question beautifully because I don't know any of us who don't leave the body and work really hard right now. Uh, we're in the astral. We're with our guides and angels. We're doing stuff around the world and galactically. We are never uh, sitting around doing nothing when we're in the dream state. We're out of the okay. body, literally. So, yes, absolutely, 100%. You definitely I was wondering are. if yeah. I am when I'm asleep, what am I doing exactly? Well, that would be two questions. Okay. You're working, like I, you already said you're working and that is what you're doing. But you have to remember, you have the ability to say to your guides, slow it down. I'm, I don't want to wake up tired. Please allow me enough time to sleep and replenish my energy. So, ask your I, I, okay, because yeah. I don't even sleep almost like never, just a couple of hours, and then sometimes I try to go lay back down, but it's like my body's on go all the time. Yeah, you know, I know that sure. this is funny, but if you that I'm trying to, I'm not familiar with all this. Because I'm holding my tablet. Okay. <laughs> well, we see part of your face. <laughs> but anyway, I think you answered your question beautifully, which is the point of this show is to, so that you realize you have all the answers. You you are your own guru and your own. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, to taking your class. Oh, yeah. I would love to have you. Which which class do you want to take? I want to take your Akashic Records class. Oh, it's coming I up May, have, 11, May 11th, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I just have some bills I have to get out of the way. I was thinking that I could do it May, but um, I'm not going to have everything paid for. Well, And I've got to take care of it first, unfortunately. I'll be doing another one, so don't worry about that. And uh, I'm going to have to let you go and go on to our Earth Star Jan. All right. Thank you. Hi, thank guys. You. Sorry. I can't my picture right. I don't oh. know it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. you. Just, oh, thank you. You just have to hit a leave studio if you can okay. see that. Uh, let's see. It's a little bar down below. Let's I'm just going to go. She hasn't left, but go on. <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? I can. How are you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think all my questions have been answered. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, when you really pin somebody down, they can answer everything that they need to know is contained. They're all your wisdom, you contain it in every cell of your body. You're always going to know what you uh, need yeah. to do and where you're going. There is no mystery. And especially in this energy, you really can tap in well. And you know when you're in your divine plan path, you know what you're doing. And even if you say, oh, should I be taking tarot? Well, yeah, I'll take tarot. Take me. Take tarot. <laughs> well, let me okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everything, caution, regular reading. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, why limit yourself? Hey, hey, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> no, I mean, everybody has this divine wisdom. We are all equally. Uh, we're just sitting here together as light workers. 
everybody is the same. And all these gifts are present for every single person inside of us. We're born with them. You well, I thought I, I thought I was new to this. You weren't, you weren't no. new to this. No, you're you're an old soul who's been around for a long time. So uh, yeah, you know. I re I remember coming into this lifetime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you definitely have been around for a very long, long, long time, um, and, <laughs> and you're definitely here to do big things. So get out there if you aren't. Okay. Already. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute! I didn't make you work for it though. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> When you have a little question you can ask yourself. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm new to this, but yeah, I'm not new to this. You're and um, I realized that I've been uh, channeling when I'm painting. Oh, absolutely. And, and yeah. of those creative things, writing, <laughs> painting, all those things are that <laughs> channel. It's the channel that we channel through. And right. Inspiration and I, is the same thing as everything. That's that channel that we channel beings through, that inspirational channel, that imagination, that connection is call it whatever you want. I call it creativity, but it's the same flow, that connection. So you're already connected like crazy to your guides and angels and all the things that flow through you. And in my sleep, I mean, unbelievable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about a week ago, about a week ago, I thought I was getting another language. Yes. And you know what? I mean, I'm having light yes. going, streaming, yes. streaming yes. down through my eyes. I wake up and they're going, and I, and I close my eyes. They're going, I open my eyes. They're still going. Oh, God. Yeah. And I was like, what was that? You know, like, I didn't understand any of it. I just knew that I got something. It is going to be downloaded later and then we'll use it when we need it. And we don't have to oh, okay. about it. It wasn't something because, I mean, the, we couldn't, if mine was going so fast, you couldn't see all the symbols and letters. And I mean, I could hear it. I found out there were pages behind those pages. And it was like, there's light. <sighs> and it was like, what? <laughs> this was like in my sleep, like a language with light. And yeah. I didn't understand like, any of it. It's light language and symbols, codes. Um, it's they're downloading stuff to you. Wow. But you don't have to worry. You'll use it. It'll all make sense when you need it. It'll oh. un unfold. It'll unpack. Okay. <laughs> So uh, I really need to take your classes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say you can if you want. All I oh, know okay. is you're, you're realizing you have all these skills. You may learn how to do something, but it's not going to be hard for you. You're going to go, oh, I can do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're gonna gain, in other words, it gives you the procedure and you gain the confidence to get out there right. and do readings for people, whatever you're, you uh, want to do. It just opens that doorway wide open where there's nothing. You mean in, instead of it just coming out of my mouth and saying, oh, you're going to have a baby. Uh, <laughs> no, you probably will still do that anyway. But I mean, it's a little different. You're doing Akashic Record readings because you're reading things that transform and heal someone by explaining what went on in a past life that affects them in this current life, then there's a transformational result and their life is shifted. And within three to eight months, they will look back and not be the same person anymore. So that's pretty profound, but wow. Yeah. Th that's yeah. new to me. That's, yeah. that's so a conscious record reading is may or may not be, everyone's cup of tea and it's okay, but it's something that I would suggest for everyone to try and learn because it's good to talk to your Kashik record masters in meditation every day, just for yourself. <clears throat> okay. So, <laughs> thank you for my commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> commercial <moment. laughs> 
Holly <laughs> talking to you. Oh yeah, it's great meeting you. <laughs> I knew it was going to be this way. <laughs> <laughs> You're delightful, and thank you very much. I hope Same to see here. you often in the chat and the, okay. in the classes. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judy. Is it Janie? It's, it's, Jan. No, you said it. You Jan. said it right the first time, Janie. Janie. It's Janie. Okay. Yeah. Janie. Thank you, Earth Star Janie. Well, thank uh, you. I'll ask you, okay. <laughs> I'll ask you to hit the leave studio button. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. And oops, I did it again. I got Lisa. I, I hit the wrong thing. Listen, I will be after you, Lisa. So what question do you have today, Lisa? Well, I think I've reached, I'm getting signs, different signs. And uh, for example, uh, I, I joined a social club mm -hmm. and they had classes to, take, um, to offer. One of them was French. And I said, well, I stay away from that because how you spell it, when you hear it, it's not the same. Yeah. But anyway, I decided, okay, I'll look and, you know, I'll try it and learn the numbers and all that stuff. But anyway, from that, you know, just wondering whether I'll take it next week, um, I get home, turn on the TV and what um, Louis the 14th, a YouTube clip of Louis the 14th was on. <laughs> That's a little synchronistic, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I was saying. And then there was something else that had to do with France. I'm going like, oh, yeah, there was like a, a flag. A friend helped me with the French flag. Was I going like, cut this out? It's Am like I branching the, the off? You're putting messages in front of you one by one. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> nuts. I just want you but, to uh, learn it for some reason. Yeah. And, and so you know, I didn't know if it's a like a branch of um okay, I'm doing some channeling, I've been doing those classes, and say I also wanted to do some writing. I gotta push myself to be that way, but maybe do writing in French or something like hey. poetry or something. You could. It seems like I'm supposed to go that way and I learn French. Something. Obviously, when you start seeing the synchronicity of that being put in your face uh, over and over. Yes, it is your guide saying, hello, yes, yeah. Oh yeah, and Viviani, I just talked with her an hour ago, a past yeah. life mentioning my question. I go, did I speak French in a different, um, you know, in another past life? And she pictured fabric and oh. she, she goes, yes, you were in France and all that. Mm -hmm. And I've been there and I love the cemeteries. In yeah. Paris and stuff. Cemeteries Seems cliche. Are, oh, I love Paris. Unfortunately, but, I've yeah. only been in Normandy's graveyard. Yeah. Uh, which made me sob. But oh. <laughs> so other graveyards are not. Oh, not this one was with this one was a poet, writers, and um, yeah, like Jim yeah, Morrison. Yeah. What is the other? Yeah. I don't know how it's pronounced, yeah. of course. I don't yeah. know French. <laughs> That's, I know. Well, I took French for a tiny little New York minute, and you know, I can barely speak anything. I know my numbers. <laughs> That's what I'm learning the numbers. Oh my God. <laughs> and if they ever ask about telling the time, I'll give them my watch or phone or something. Yeah. Because you, all I know is killer a teal. <laughs> killer a teal. <laughs> something. But it was great. Or whatever. Or I don't even know what that means anymore. But anyway, um, yeah, so what question do you want to ask? Is French on your menu to learn? Yes. And I That's think you answered that question for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> they want it in your tool belt. And I have a suspicion that it's going to bring up memories and gifts of that French lifetime that you're going to utilize in this lifetime. Something I heard I was a poet and starved, yeah. but I was a poet. <laughs> Something powerful is yeah. you're going to absorb and integrate that the gifts of that lifetime into this one. And 
Yes, because I love languages. I took four years of Spanish, forgot yeah. about that. That was in the 70s, four mm-hmm. years of Italian, forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> oh, wow. You were a busy bee. I loved it. I love languages. Well, as long as it's not Welsh. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those words are like... <laughs> And I, don't, I have the right to mention it because it's in the family. <laughs> it's in the I'm Welsh. I have some Welsh in me as well. Yeah. And, um, mm, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, I enjoy, everybody take the classes. They're fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for my second commercial of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. And you guys come on and you're like, you you already have the answers. It's true. I don't know. Com- we want a confirmation still, even though we, you tell us to trust our gut. Yeah, we still you know, want to have that external. Com- you know uh, what you do for a while, but then after a while, you're like, oh, "Man, I know better than they do." Yeah. She, who knows you better? Who knows your inside guidance better? You mm-hmm. do because you hear your own internal guidance telling you this, that, and the other thing, like showing you things you are going to be doing French everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming on. It was fun. Oh, anytime. Do you mind if I send you emails like I did before that one time? Oh, you can. Yeah. Sure. Well, can. I'll be, I'll, has, I'll I think twice promise. before I do it just in case, because I know you're jam packed here. I am really jam packed, but <laughs> go ahead. And uh, if you can l- click the red button down below on the screen. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Why am I always doing that? Okay. Um, D Cobb is after Liz and Ah. So Liz and Ah, hello. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. It was good to see you. Finally. You too. I person. can't wait to take your class in May. Oh, I know. Won't that be fun? I'm glad you're in the class. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. So you have a question for today? Yep. Um, I've had a very strange life, very complicated, very tragic in many ways, but also very intuitive things, magical things have happened to me. My life has changed from one day to another. Um, I seem to look at someone and know they're going to die or be called to pray for them when they are dying or when they have just died. I also have been told by several well-known psychics that I have an immense power, but I'm just not aware of what it is. And so I've been meditating a lot, beautiful visions and messages coming, but I'm still not very directed. If there's a specific direction or if I just keep sending out um, prayerful, powerful prayers, for healing, because I've been told I healed many people without them even knowing it. I what do you sure feel or think for me? Well, I want you to go first before I answer your question. I want you to go inside, either here in your crown chakra or in your heart, and ask yourself, take one moment to go in and really check in, asking yourself that same question and see what comes to you. That it can be in a feeling or a thought voice. What do you what do you hear? <clears throat> okay. When I did uh, therapy, I was pastoral counselor, hospital chaplain, and then secular therapist for years. I would get images and know things about people that they didn't tell me, and I would guide them to those images to help them heal. I loved doing that work but I'm not really in a position to continue to do any kind of therapy with people. So I'm kind of stuck on what my heart guides me to. I also love exotic animals. Well, That's without a- saying everything, go into your heart and ask your heart what it wants you to do. What is your path? Clearly ask, what is my path? Mm-hmm. Just heal, uh, heal the political world, heal the suffering world. I just get a very general message. Okay, so this is what I would say: <clears throat> that you are 
going to do what your heart calls you to do. And in order to really get in touch with not your story of the past, but be in this present moment right here and now, what does my heart want? What is it excited about? Is it excited about learning how to read the Akashic records for people? Is it excited about learning Reiki? Is it excited about working one-on-one -on -one with someone like doing Reiki or is it, it does it do you get excited about using tarot with people and you really use your intuitive abilities but tarot is just a, a window into that there are many things that you can do and avenues yet to pursue and in order for you to be able to come to a place where you know what your heart's desire is, you have to dip your toe in the water. Not going into the past and talking about what you did, who you were, what that's a story. The, the new creation that Liz and I is making is this now moment. What shall I bring forward? So the best thing in the world is what you've done. Sign up for a class and investigate it and see if this ignites your heart and makes you feel excited to get up in the morning to go do something like this. This is the, that adventure, that quest you're on to find that, those things. And it doesn't have to be one thing. It can be a bunch of different things, but you're on the right track because you are taking a class to learn how to do something so profound that it'll knock your socks off. So I'm taking a mediumship class and I'm absolutely amazed at what comes through for me. I get all excited. That's exactly it. What you get excited about. Slides. I just like it's so exciting. And when you get excited, Liz, that is your heart going, oh, I, this is my sweet, spot it's on mm -hmm. my divine plan it is Very what much. i need to do so you just now you know mediumship is one of them we'll see if akashic record reading is and i would say it probably is <laughs> so <laughs> you know you are on the right track doing exactly what you need to do <clears throat> yay thank you thank you val it's so happy thank to you. see you in person thank you. thank you liz and i it was great to meet you and uh, I'll let you go. And I've got to, um, you have to click the leave studio button if you can. And um, I've got uh, D Cobb next. So, um, D Cobb, thank you for waiting. Yes, absolutely. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I, uh, I'm just sitting on the fence, I think, like everyone else, trying to. Um, trying to get the like some information or some kind of connection and you know like i said i went through the path of totality with the grandbaby and trying to listen i don't sleep a lot so i don't even remember dreaming ever right you say i'm a dreamer and i get downloads yeah, yeah. they got to be yeah. fast because i don't remember anything and i try to lay in bed for like a half a second don't oh, worry i don't either i never remember dreams <laughs> it's the craziest thing and like you know i i feel oh, like um, you get like, too busy out of the body they probably don't you can't even dream you're and like i said i even i even was in the shower today going okay i there was the day before the eclipse and then there's after the eclipse what's going on yeah i know what you're saying so what exactly is your question my path forward right my gifts going forward um i'm in a very comfortable part of my life so i'd like to move forward with using my gifts and helping others i love it from that platform i want you to just go into your heart center and ask no, that for your divine plan path i want you to sense what it is that you that most ignites your heart um in doing work for humanity what is the what do you get any sense of what that would be <laughs> i what just do you know, know that i i've always been 
a people person, always into helping, always into calm, you know, I try not to live a stressful life and I try to find some kind of guidance for others. They've come to me. I know that they have. And thinking back now, I know that I've given good advice throughout the years, but nobody's, you know, that I can pick up. I walk in silence. I walk with music. I meditate. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> this is what I would say then, since you're, you don't really feel even though you're going inside, you're not getting a clear image. And I'm not trying to no longer listen with my ears or, you know, I'm trying to think, does it like, you know, like a thought in my head, you know, is that kind of what I'm looking for? But it just, I want them to turn up the volume and come forward. And I've asked just my head guide, if there is such a thing to try to, get me in tune with what they're, where that connection is, where the frequency is. Start out as a subtle thing. It's really true. But I have a meditation class, not to tout my class. Right, right. The time, but I think it's April 20th. I have a meditation class at, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 11, 12, 1, 2. Right, right, right. Wherever anybody else is. Uh, because in my meditation class, that's what we do. It's not about, oh, I'm in meditation, um, and that's all you do. Right, right, right. My meditation class is about talking to your guides, how to have that communication with them, and the state, the vibrational state where you have that you get in, you don't have to, but the state you get in, I take you to, that gets you out of your ego mind and up into your higher energy where your ego can't get involved and you really hear your guidance, you hear it. You can And that's I'm like that's the girl who went to boot camp and was there for two weeks before I realized that it was a daily thing I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> I mean, everybody else was doing their thing, and I'm like, why are they wasting their time doing that? Right. And then until I did like a billion push-ups, then I figured it out. So I'm trying to get past the push-ups this time. <laughs> Oh, man, you're funny. Oh, but, thank you. Um, you know, <clears throat> what I would say is all you need to do is calm your mind, calm that ego mind, that busy mind. And like my meditation process in like five minutes, you're already there and it gets you into that state where you're already talking to your guides and you'll be hearing the messages because you already have the connection. You're mm -hmm. already working with people. You've done it all your life where you give them advice and you know all those things. There are many, many different classes you can take to help you with platforms to reach out and help people. And that would be, you know, learning tarot, learn taking a class in um, psychic mediumship learning Akashic record readings, all those things. But the primary thing, meditation is that foundation. Even if you only meditate five minutes a day, you're sitting down with your guides. That's what you're doing. And you're checking in with them. You're grounding into Mother Earth, surrounding yourself with light, taking three deep breaths, getting into that altered state where you are, your ego mind can't even get involved you're already in the higher energies. This is where you will realize, oh my God, my guides are there. They've been talking to me. And <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I know they've been there at poignant points in my life. I can look back just like Liz and know that I took the path that I was supposed to be on versus taking the round Robin Hood's barn. Right? No, you're very in tune. You and I feel like it. You are. You just don't give yourself enough down quiet moment out of this busy mind because mm -hmm. you're very smart you're very yeah my active. brain is always on. Brain it is. Is on and so you just need to come out of that in which my meditation class that's is. what i'm looking forward to so yeah that i can um i, I can tune in yeah i will sign up for that no, and uh, i have a reading a psychic reading on friday and i want to make the most of it right no. and I feel like I'm at a point in my life that I'm, you know, 
make the being able to be guided to do something you, you for can. better than someone other than myself. I this is what I want you to say before that psychic reading. Mm -hmm. uh, say it in the morning or say it after this show. I open to receive my everything that can uh, that can open before me in my highest timeline and highest good for myself and humanity with all my gifts for my divine plan moving forward in my life with grace and ease and that I receive everything I need to know mm -hmm. going forward as steps on my divine plan and say again, I am open to receive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Angels well, I, and angels. I am less than grateful every day. So I am never without gratitude and I, I pass it to everyone. So, you know, and they ask you how your day's going. I said, it's like picking up uh, plastic eggs on AstroTurf. My blessings are all around me. Right. But I'm just saying for the psychic reading, mm -hmm. set your intention. Yeah. Really my intention good. is set for okay. my gifts to be you're, able to be there. Then you're going to receive exactly what you need to receive. Mm -hmm. And it's all perfect. It'll all mm -hmm. be perfect. You but did I, this because you said I had all the clairs, all the clairs. Well, where are they? <laughs> they this is your yeah. busy mind getting in the way that's all that's happening okay so relaxing and letting this you know getting into a vibration that bypasses that ego mind that busy mind that's all that you have to do it's that simple yeah so I hope that helps. Well, you're going to see me. You're going to see me again helping somebody. Now, so if you can't take the class uh, mm -hmm. physically. You know, just you can sign up and you'll get the video um, uh, unlisted link, and you'll okay. be able to click on it and watch it. Wonderful. And, you know, watch it anytime you want. So, mm -hmm. you know, just know that. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. blessings, love, and light too. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you for talking and coming on the show. Absolutely. Okay. See you soon. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Oh, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. <laughs> okay, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this show. It was quite unusual. <laughs> we got to see people in the community. We got to touch base with people and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I just, just reading things in the chat. So this was our big experiment for today. Let me know in the chat after this video, you know, what you, if you, enjoyed it or you know what your thoughts are about it if you want to see it again where you know i know it was an exercise in really learning you can go inside and answer all your questions and for real your answers are awesome for yourself but it's also getting to that place where you know what your next step is what you're bringing forward and have that confidence that when you're in your heart center and it's your divine desire, your heart's desire, you're always on the right path. So just have confidence in that. And so <clears throat> with that, thank you all of you for joining me today. And uh, so many of you wonderful people in the chat I just want to go down and say hello to all of you. Uh, so it was so great to have you here. Oh, my goodness. So many people are chatting. I don't think I can spend a lot of time doing this. But, uh, oh, my goodness. I didn't have any time to pay attention to the chat. And I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. So many of you. Um, I absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Nancy. A Crohn's Intuition new member. Thank you, Nancy for joining. Um, that's so sweet. I'm so happy to have you. 
And uh, I'm just going down through. Oh, my gosh. All of you are so wonderful. Thank you for watching this. And I hope that, you know, we've all learned that, you know, our answers are within. Oh, hi, Scott. Scorpio Sun Tarot. I'll be on Scott's channel soon. And uh, looking forward to that. And, uh, oh, my gosh, I love you guys so much. I can't even tell you. Um, I did this show for you all today. And um, let me know if you want me to do it again. I might do it every couple of weeks. But um, I hadn't, haven't done a show, actually. <laughs> Just Val. <laughs> in so long because I do all these group shows. I thought, you know, I've got to go on by myself with my people. <laughs> So <laughs> that's why I did this. But anyway, I, I absolutely loved all of your answers. Everyone who came on um, were just brilliant. And you're all so connected. Um, you know, absolutely. Um, I appreciate you all so much. Oh, and Rose Blue, yeah. ADHD. You know what? Even with ADHD, you can get with with my meditation technique you can bypass that and go right to your guides and you can actually it's only like a few minutes it only takes a few minutes you can meditate for a few minutes a day and you can connect with your guides and angels and you won't be having that mind that flits around and can't stay on one subject it will actually bypass that. So you might try that. Even if maybe you can't do the actual class, you can always sign up and then you can watch the video later, however that works for you. So just to let you know, squirrels. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, my God, you guys are so cute. So anyway, oh, Wayne, do it again. Well, Wayne, you didn't come on. <laughs> oh, uh, Blue Diamond, I love it. Uh, oh, thank you, Rose Blue, too. Um, all of you are so sweet. So uh, I'll see you all um, later tonight. I'll be on with Allie um, for Sweet Spot. Um, and spiritual um, strengths or tools, whatever that is, spiritual tools that you, special gifts you have for the world and the wonderful sweet spot on the earth where it is really comfortable for you to be or live. You know, those are things that we hook you up to. <laughs> it's 730 Pacific time, so 8.30, 9.30. Oh, it's 10.30 Eastern time. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's a little late. Catch it on the replay. But if you're there with us, uh, we will do readings for you on what it is that you have, what your gifts are, and help you figure that out and where's a good place to live. So um, I'll see you later. Um, love you all. Bye-bye.